The wounded child is one of five child archetypes. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people with the wounded child archetype. So the wounded child is a child that has been abused, abandoned or neglected in some way. It is often through their parents or family or members associated with that, but not always. Sometimes it is circumstances that cause these wounds to happen. Wounded children are really tortured. They have tough lives, particularly their childhood and their teenage lives. And sometimes it takes a long time to get over what has happened to them. So I say to the wounded child, unfortunately, you have to live with that trauma for the rest of your life. However, there are a lot of positives that come from this, all of these dreadful things that are likely or have happened to you. Okay, so the key with the wounded child is, is to always understand, yes, go and get some healing. Go and get someone who can talk to you and you can talk to them and you feel comfortable with. Go and do anything that is you feel is needed to help you overcome the trauma that you've been through. That's very important. If you need to seek medical and professional advice, do so. If you need to seek your friend's, your friend's advice, do that. Okay, but whatever the case, just go and get some help and some treatment. But also understand that these wounds, they do stay with you and I know you have to face them every single day. That's fine, just be aware of that. Don't take them on anymore, just when they come into your being, just say, yes, that's happened and let it go. Okay, just dismiss it, okay, and get on with your life. The good thing about wounded children is that they make excellent teachers. They also make very creative people. If I go back to them as teachers, they know what it is like to be hurt, to be injured, to be in dark places. And so that experience, although dreadful in content, can also help other people through depression and through the stages of that as well. Let's start that again. No, keep going. Keep that again? Yeah. Just, just speaking of wounded animals, wounded children. Wounded who are children. That's a cold dog there. So, so that is important. As a teacher, the wounded child has that experience and can really assist other people through their nightmare. And that's really, really important. Wounded children also are very creative people, okay? They love to be artistic or to play with technology or to do things like that. Often the wounded child will also bring down with them an addict archetype. And in some cases, this is a, a double whammy, okay? Because you've got two really strong archetypal energies that team up together. And so a lot of wounded children will go into addiction, okay? But the key is always to remember as soon as you start working on the positive energy of both of those archetypes, you can really set your life forward in a really quick and accelerated and brilliant way. Okay, it's just a case of looking at the positive things, looking at your talents, looking at your skills, looking at the gift that you have got and the advice and the wisdom that you can impart with other people and that's really important. And when you get that addict on side and really focus that addiction onto something that's really positive and something's really good it's amazing and so i always say that wounded children i give two examples ray charles is one johnny cash is another both wounded children both fought with addictions for a lot of their life however brilliant musicians extremely creative people and that's what the wounded child can become it's just you Get your attitude right. Get a bit of positivity into your being and into your life and start focusing on what you have and what you can do. And it's amazing the brilliant leadership roles that you can take on as a wounded child and be absolutely transforming other people's lives as well. So take care, look after yourself and look after other people at the same time.